our doubting, in our confusion, in our fighting, Father God, for things that you have already done. Father God, give us hearts that learn to trust. Father God, give us humility. Father God, give us kindness. Give us love, Father God. Father God, let us learn to love one another as you so loved us, Father God. Father God, if I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't even begin to thank you for going to Calvary for a wretch like me. For dying, Lord Jesus, that I might be saved and that I might have the right to eternal life. Only but a gracious and merciful God would do something like that. Father God, we come to you, each and every one of us, with different repetitions and supplications, but you know them all, Father God. So I just want to lift everybody up regardless of what they're going through right now, Father God. Whether it be illness, whether it be financial issues, whether it be broken relationships, wayward children, Father God, for mothers who have lost children, and for mothers that are blessed to have their children with them. But that, Father God, we say thank you. I say thank you for grandmothers and thank you for great-grandmothers, Father God. Thank them for pouring in unto their children what their grandmothers and mothers poured into them, Father God. For that, I say thank you. Father God, I lift up every home in this church before you this morning, Father God. I ask that you give them peace, Father God. Comfort, Father God, but more than anything, Father God, I just ask that they have a personal relationship with you, that in the time of trouble, they can say, Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, there's nothing else that needs to be said, because Father God, you read the heart, man needs the outward appearance. Father God, let us strive to be better than 